ayan. Hi everyone. Okay. Um, this is Makoragos once again. So I'm the product development head of Great Life International. Okay. I welcome you to today's session of product focus. All right. So um, kumusta po kayo ng lahat? Naririnig niyo po ba ako? So uh, if you can hear me, please type yes. All right. If you can hear me loud and clear. So, um, before anything else, kumusta po kayong lahat? Nami-miss ko na po kayo, nami-miss ko na po ang opisina natin. It's been quite a while since we last saw each other. Okay, so, um, uh, today's topic is actually very interesting. Okay, so this is the first time that I'll be discussing this topic. Okay, so, uh, from the pa for the past two weeks, we've discussed about... Uh, it enhances glutathione so and how it can help detoxify our body and how important detoxification is especially during this pandemic and also last week we talked about it nourishes spirulina and how it can nourish our body to the, up to the cellular level we talked about um, the importance of nutrition especially the rainbow nutrition and why spirulina is actually considered the uh, the healthiest food on earth okay so today, as you guessed it right, we've, um, it's time to discuss about It Protects Superfood, alright? But you know, this topic is kind of different from the past uh, product focus that we've discussed regarding It Protects. Parang we'll be discussing Protect on a whole new level, okay? So, para po sa mga... Uh, mahilig sa mga expose dyan, I guess you really have to watch this and uh, watch until the end. Wag po kayong uh, bibita, wag kayong kukurap. Okay? So, um, today we will be discussing on how to protect your body. Okay? So, if you're uh, against viruses, bacteria, diseases. So, if you're ready, okay, let's start now. All right. So, when it comes to protection or when it comes to protecting your body from viruses, bacteria, diseases, and other free radicals that is present in the environment, what's the first thing that actually comes into your mind? Okay, that is what? Taking vitamins, right? Yung minsan, minsan nga, yung iba, mas, mas uh, kinoconsider nila yung mag-take ng vitamins instead of exercise or instead of taking a well-balanced uh, diet, okay? So, but when it when you say vitamins, what's naman the first thing that comes into your mind? Okay? That is what? Vitamin C, right? Kasi actually, uh, sa lahat ng vitamins, I think vitamin C yung pinakasikat. Okay? So, when you when you ask someone, ano vitamins mo? Vitamin C. Actually, yun lang alam nilang vitamins. Hindi nila alam yung vitamin A, B, diba? E, D, E. Ang alam lang talaga nila is vitamin C. Alright? I guess, um, mas maraming tao ang mas nakakaalam ng vitamin C compared to other kinds of vitamins. Okay? So, however, recent study shows that the vitamin C that we, we buy over the counter may not be the vitamin C that our body actually needs. Okay? So, today's topic is actually the disturbing truth about vitamin C and what big pharmaceutical companies do not want us to know. Diba? Sobrang intriguing, ano? Okay. So, for the past, actually, three months during this pandemic, I guess, vitamin C is the number one most sought after vitamins sa butika ngayon. Right? So, everybody wants to have their own vitamin C. Yung iba, nag-hoard pa ng vitamin C. Uh, one of the main reasons why now vitamin C is actually out of stock. When you go to Mercury or we go to any other botika, uh, lagi siya out of stock. Actually, I went to Mercury yesterday and I uh, then uh, I saw people asking for vitamin C and sinasabi out of stock pa din hanggang ngayon. Alright? So, that that's how important vitamin C is today um, in terms of boosting our immune system. Alright? So, actually, in America, uh, the sales increased by 146%. Okay? And, yun nga, merong shortage dito sa Asia, not just here in the Philippines, actually, but all over Asia. 
in Singapore. Yan. Actually, even wellness influencers are actually telling their followers to take mega doses of vitamin C. Okay? Without actually knowing the harmful effects it can bring to our body. So first is, ano nga ba yung vitamin C? And why do we need them? Vitamin C actually is also known as ascorbic acid. Okay? So, yung iba, they opted for the sodium ascorbate form or yung non-acidic vitamin C or yung alkaline form. Meron ding another form na lumabas which is the sodium or which is the calcium uh, ascorbate. So, para saan ba tong vitamin C na to? So, number one, it's necessary for growth. Okay? It's necessary for the development and repair of body tissues, for the formation of collagen, absorption of iron, wound healing, maintenance of cartilage, bones, and teeth. Okay? But during this pandemic, it plays an important part in our immune function by improving the activity of our white blood cells, which is the, called the natural killer cells, and allows our immune system to communicate and coordinate its attack against invaders. So, ibig sabihin itong vitamin C, importante talaga to to help our immune system fight viruses. Okay? However, since our body cannot store vitamin C, it's essential that we consume it on a regular basis. So, para siyang maintenance, you have to take it daily talaga. Okay? So, however, do you really get your money's worth by taking vitamin C? Sigurado ka ba dun sa vitamin C na iniinom mo? Diba? Does it really boost your immune system as it is supposed to be? Okay? Or, uh, when people tell you to take mega doses, does it really help you? Okay? Now, to answer all of that questions, I invited again another special guest. You've seen him before during the first time we talked about gluta. To explain the real deal about vitamin C, okay? And how, uh, how synthetic vitamin C affects our body. Okay? So, please ke- welcome once again, okay? Our guest for today, Dr. Berg. So I'm going to do a short video on vitamins. Uh, There's one distinction between synthetic vitamins and whole food concentrates that I really, really want to make because so many people are taking the wrong ones unknowingly. When you get a vitamin that's prescribed by a doctor that you have to get from a pharmacy, then you know for a fact it's synthetic. And that includes all those prenatals. Now, what are synthetic vitamins? There are man-made vitamins made from petroleum, coal tar, and they synthesize them to sort of make them the same as natural molecules. But what, what's missing is that in nature, nothing comes in these fractionoid individual parts of vitamins. In nature, you always have the whole complex of vitamins, um, and not in high amounts, in very small amounts. So even though you have high potency vitamins that are synthetic, the reason why your urine is so yellow is because you're just peeing it out because it's almost toxic to your body. The only benefit of synthetic vitamins is a short-term use, maybe doing a detox, but that's it. You never want to take them long-term. Now, I'm not even saying focus on natural vitamins. I'm saying focus on whole food concentrates. And you have to look on the label and read the ingredients. Where does it come from? If you cannot pronounce the chemical, then we know it's made from synthetics. So let's just take vitamin C complex. In nature, vitamin C comes with with multiple parts. We have ascorbic acid, that's the antioxidant portion. And that's so funny because antioxidants really are the inactive part of the vitamin C complex. They're not the active part. They don't really, they're like the eggshell to the eggs, they're like the banana peel to the banana. Um, they're there to protect the guts of that um, vitamin, but most people think that this is the active portion and they take it in high amounts and think they're getting some benefits. Um, let me just tell you the, the only benefit you would get if you were, had a cold or something with the acidic nature, the acidifying nature of ascorbic acid because when you make the body more acid when you're sick, it tends to increase, help the immune system fight this thing off better. But you'd be better off taking apple cider vinegar, not ascorbic acid, because when you take high amounts of synthetic vitamins, it tends to deplete the other associated parts that normally come with that vitamin complex. And that's why too much ascorbic acid, you end up with bleeding gums, spider veins, 
that's a side effect. Um, why? Because you're going to be creating deficiencies of vitamin P. Vitamin P are all the bioflavonoids. They're rutin. They're, they're the ones that help um, the arteries, the strengthen the, the gums and the teeth, the capillaries. Without vitamin P, you'll get varicose veins and spider veins. Vitamin J. Now you say, well, wait a second. I never heard of vitamin J. Well, what's the first vitamin that was ever discovered? Take a wild guess. It's not vitamin C. It's vitamin A. Then comes B, then C, then D, then E, then F, and G. And it goes right down through all the way up to, I think, um, J and H and they even have vitamin U. So those are vitamins that are just, they were discovered in that order. So vitamin J is the anti-pneumonia vitamin. It helps you breathe. It helps um, with oxygen carrying capacity, especially when you go up a flight of stairs. So if you go up stairs and you can't breathe, it could mean that you need more vitamin J or you have problems breathing. Copper. In, in vitamins, you always have a mineral as part of the connecting part. So all vitamins have as their base some mineral. With vitamin C, it's copper. Copper is not just like a metallic, a rock, like you would have like a copper penny. It's, it's in an enzyme form, so it's really easy to digest. And the enzyme, the name of it is called tyrosinase, which basically is um, one of the key uh, minerals to help you build up collagen in your joints and your arteries and things like that. And so then we have K. That's a, um, it, it helps you clot, so it helps prevent bleeding. And there's certain drugs that are blocking vitamin K, like, um, um, like the rat poison, Coumadin, which people take to prevent strokes and things like that. So you can't, they can't really consume much of vitamin K vegetables. But the point is that what you want to do is you want to look for vitamins that come in their whole complex um, parts, not as a synthetic you want to avoid the synthetics, and because the synthetic vitamin C is made from cornstarch, which by the way has no vitamin C, and sulfuric acid. Those two things. It's kind of weird that you're getting vitamin C without, without a raw material that comes from vitamin C or has vitamin C in it, but that's how they make it. It's cornstarch and sulfuric acid. What's the bottom line? Only ever consume food or a whole food concentrates and you'll stay out of trouble. Okay, so thank you, Dr. Berg, for that very informative um, discussion about vitamin C and vitamin C complex. Okay, so ganun pala, no? Um, yung palang iniinom natin dating ascorbic acid or yung sodium ascorbate na lagi natin iniinom uh, on a mega dose pa nga, ba? Is actually not the vitamin C na akala natin. So, ibig sabihin, it's just a fragment of the whole complex, okay? Sabi nga ni Dr. Berg, it's like eating the eggshell and not the egg, di ba? So, it's like a piece of a puzzle, okay? So, the whole puzzle is the whole vitamin B, uh, vitamin C complex. And yung, vi yung vitamin C, ascorbic acid or sodium ascorbate, isang piece lang siya. So, ngayon, kung alam naman pala ng mga uh, scientisto dati and mga manufacturers, Bakit kaya hindi nila sinasabi sa mga tao? Bakit tinago nila? Okay? Why? Because the vitamin C business is actually big business. ba? Tinago nila ito because of profit. Why? Because vitamin C alone has an annual sales of more than $250 million per year. ba? And it's actually very cheap to produce synthetic vitamin C. Okay? Compared to whole food concentrates which is more difficult to manufacture more and more expensive okay so the marketing of synthetic vitamin C has been so successful that almost all doctors nutritionists therapists diba, and health practitioners are, are are unaware of the synthetic uh, effects or uh, or an, are unaware that actually your vitamin C na ascorbic acid is actually not vitamin C at all okay so, another thing that's really important for us to know is yung vitamins are only necessary in minute quantities. Okay? So, another kasinungalingan na sinabi ng mga manufacturers. Okay? So, every time you take synthetic vitamin C, your body has to draw from, from your body's own reserves the other cofactors needed to complete the vitamin C complex to perform its function. 
It means kapag nag-take ka ng large doses of vitamin C, it can be toxic to your health. Why? Because it can deplete the body's own mineral reserves. Kumbaga, if you take vitamin C alone, yung ascorbic acid or sodium ascorbate, ang gagawin niya is magnet niya yung mga other cofactors na nakastore sa katawan mo. Okay? And if you take it, uh, vitamin, synthetic vitamin C in large do- doses, magkakaroon ka, um, in effect, pwede kang magkaroon ng mga vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Okay? Kasi, yung vitamin C na excess, iihi mo lang siya. Alright? So, ano yung mga deficiencies na to? Isa sa mga deficiencies, is sinatawag na rebound scurvy. Ano ba yung scurvy? Scurvy is actually a disease that, uh, yan yung, um, pag mar- may kulang ka sa vitamin C or vitamin C, C deficient ka, meron kang scurvy. Kung mapapan- mapapansin ninyo or kung natatandaan ninyo, yung mga pirates, sila yung mga usual na may sakit na scurvy, di ba, noong unang panahon. Kasi, uh, for months, nasa laot lang sila, and then, they don't have any access to fresh produce. Okay? So, wala silang tinitake na vitamin C on a regular basis. That's the reason kung bakit sila nagkaroon ng scurvy or vitamin C deficiency. Okay? Ang effect niyan is yung bleeding gums, spider veins, Ganyan. Furthermore, the body can only absorb small amounts of vitamin C. So, taking 100 mg of vitamin C or synthetic vitamin C is actually a waste of money. And then, yung sobra niyan is iihi mo lang siya. Lalabas lang din sa, sa, sa urine mo. That's the reason why yung ihe, uh, if you take mega doses of vitamin C, it's color orange or yellow, very yellow. Kasi usually, yung mga synthetic vitamins, they make it color orange or yellow, di ba? Kasi, uh, pag sinabing orange, di ba, mataas ang vitamin C. So, parang flavoring lang siya. Okay? Or uh, coloring lang siya. Alright? So, what is synthetic vitamin C or ascorbic acid made from? Sabi nga ni Dr. Berg, it's made of what? Cornstarch and sulfuric acid. Ironically, both of these ingredients doesn't actually have vitamin C at all. Grabe, de ba? So, ngayon, where do you get yung uh, vitamin C complex? So, the best source of natural vitamin C complex is actually found in fresh fruits and vegetables. Also, it's present in whole food concentrates like it protects superfood. Okay? Ang kagandahan niyan is hindi lang it protects superfood. It's also present in it's amazing. Okay? So, uh, ano ba yung nakakapagpataas ng vitamin C sa it protects? Ito yung tinatawag na kamu-kamu berry. Itong kamu-kamu berry is actually found throughout the Amazon rainforest of Peru and Brazil. It is famed for its substantially high levels of natural vitamin C. Okay? It has 30 to 60 times more vitamin C than orange. Okay? So, uh, ano pa yung mga benefit ng kamu-kamu? One is to prevent viral infection. Okay? It also boosts the immune system protect us against chronic diseases, it fights inflammation, it uh, reduces mood swings, so nakaka-happy, diba? It reduces mood swings. It's also good for the eyes. It's also good for cognitive disorders. Okay? Now, when you check this, ano, when you check this image, you can see the uh, comparison of kamu-kamu versus other staple fruits and vegetables that's also high in vitamin C. As you can see here, yung kamu-kamu, it has 2,700 milligrams of uh, vitamin C per 100 grams of fruit. Okay? So, dito sa Pilipinas, ano ba yung sinasabi natin? Isa sa pinakamataas na source of vitamin C. Kung natatandaan nyo, na nag-aaral pa kayo, di ba yan ang tinatawag na guava? Di ba? Bayabas. Okay? So, ang tropical guava, it has only 183 milligrams of vitamin C per 100 grams. Sumunod dyan is broccoli. Next is orange, di ba? Ang pinakasikat na vitamin C, ano? Kaya di ba, iba sabi, oh, we take vitamin, uh, orange juice every day. Fresh, fresh squeezed orange juice, which is 53 grams, uh, 53 milligrams of uh Vitamin C, ba? 
And then next is lemon with only 46 milligrams. Tomato has 19 milligrams. Pineapple has 15. At ang syempre, ang pinakasikat, an apple a day keeps a doc the doctor away. Ang apple which has only 6 milligrams per 100 grams of apple. Versus kamu kamu which has 2,700 milligrams of vitamin C, de ba? Per 100 grams of fruit, de ba? Sobrang taas, okay? And syempre, sabi ko nga kanina, kamu kamu is present both in it protects and it's amazing, okay? So <clears throat> to give you a review, de ba? What ano pa ba ang kakaiba sa it protects at it's amazing? That is the red, blue, indigo, and violet pigment. Sa lahat po na nakapanood last time, last week, regarding the rainbow diet or rainbow nutrition, I discussed about the different pigments na nandun sa plant. These are called phytonutrients. So, these pigments are actu actually makes, uh, makes these fruits and vegetables good for our health. Okay? So, kasi it's packed with different uh, vitamins, minerals, enzymes. Okay? that helps our body fight diseases. So, ang red, blue, indigo, violet pigment, sikat na sikat yan because of its anti-aging, ba? And anti-inflammatory and disease-preventing properties. ba? Sabi ko nga last time, kung yung mga chlorophyll or yung green pigment, sila yung um, nagbablock sa carcinogens, ito namang, red, blue, indigo, and violet pigment, sila naman yung nagpa-fight dun sa mga free radicals, sa mga carcinogens. So, sila yung pumapatay. ba? Kung yung isa, guardia, ito naman, sila yung mismo, nasa action. Alright? So, they're loaded with anthocyanin, resveratrol, resveratrol, and xanthone. Xanthone is the one, sikat na sikat yan dito sa Pilipinas because xanthone comes from uh, mangosteen. ba? So, if you know people who are taking uh, mangosteen supplements because of its xanthone levels, you can ask them to to try yung ating it protects kasi it's not just santone it also has other nutrients other phytonutrients such as resveratrol anthocyanin other flavonoids okay so kumbaga ito mas diverse mas marami siyang vitamins kumbaga mas multivitamin siya okay so it prevents genetic damage it kills cancer cells it reduces inflammation okay it's good for the brain so it's a uh, um it's good for for if may lahi kayo na Alzheimer, okay, or Parkinson's. Also, it's an effective chelating agent for removing metals from the body, assisting in detoxification. Okay? So, yan, ang ating it protects. And then, ano ba yung laman ng ating it protects? Okay? Kasi it has eight different kinds of fruits which has high levels of anthocyanin and other flavonoids. Ito yung isa is the black chokeberry or uh, more known as yung aronia berry. So, this berry is has a high content of polyphenols and anthocyanins and possesses one of the highest antioxidant activities among the planet species and has the highest score of um, kumbaga, ORAC value. It has 16,062 ORAC value. So, it's one of the uh, Actually, it has the highest orac value among all other berries, aside from acai berry. Okay? So, it helps reduce the risk of cancer, heart disease. It reduces inflammation. So, it controls diabetes. It has antibacterial properties and reduces neuro neurological diseases. So, it's good for the brain. Okay? Another thing is the acai berry. Dito sa Pilipinas, medyo kilala na to, yung acai berry. It's also extremely high in anthocyanins and has a 15,000 ORAC value, di ba? Halos ka-level niya si Aronia Berry. Ito namang acai berry, it has, um, it's good because it's uh, good for people who has high cholesterol, okay? It also promotes heart health. It aids in weight loss, okay? Improves cellular health. It step, stops bad cell purification, supports circulation, and relaxing the blood vessels. Bilberry, okay? Ito naman, it's known for its, um, uh, it known to help promote eye health. So, it's good naman for the eyes, okay? It helps improve the ability to see in the dark, o, ba? 
And then it also uh, good for the, it's also good for the heart. It also lowers the risk of cancer. It reduces uh, inflammation. It controls diabetes. Okay. Next is blueberries. Ito naman, it's also good for the heart. Maganda rin siya for cholesterol. So it's also anti-aging. It maintains healthy bones. Okay. So it lowers blood sugar and manages diabetes. Also prevents cancer and improves mental health. Diba? And then, goji berry. Ito naman, kakaiba siya. Uh, ito naman, it's a traditional Chinese medicine for over 2,000 years. So it helps to aid, med- aid meditation to obtain greater health. So vitality, longevity. Ibig sabihin, pampahaba ng buhay. Diba? It gives more energy. It stabilizes blood sugar. Detoxifies the liver. It also boosts fertility. Okay? And then, Next, ang sikat na sikat dito sa Pilipinas, yun nga, ang mangosteen, de ba? Some people are taking mangosteen supplements, supplements as mangosteen alone. Alright? So, it prevents tuberculosis, gum disease, it also aids in um, blood pressure, okay? And also diabetes, okay? And last but not the least, ito yung purple corn. Ito yung vegetable which has the highest content of anthocyanins, okay? Or yung uh, blue-violet pigment. Okay? It supports healthy glucose and lipid metabolism, has powerful antioxidant activity, and promotes healthy aging and vascular integrity. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, to sum it all up, our immune system is too complex to be boosted by just one vitamin. Okay? So, to summarize, is we have to avoid synthetic vitamins and only look for vitamins that come in their whole complex. Diba? And also, consume whole food concentrates to get vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. Sample of which nga is yung ating uh, It Protects Superfood. Yan yung tinatawag na whole food concentrates. Okay? And yung ating It's Amazing Purple Juice Drink. So, and last, syempre, nothing can beat this, which is to eat a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. Okay? So, I think... Um, that would be all for uh, for tonight. So, if you have questions, just send me a, a message. Also, if you want to take hold of this, um, it protects or and it's amazing purple juice drink. Just kindly um, contact the person who tagged you or sent you this video. And then, um, if you want to know more about Great Life. If you want to uh, start your uh, great life journey, if you want to do uh, this via online, especially ngayon na uh, marami nagahanap ng mga online business. So this is one powerful product that you can actually share to your friends. Okay, just contact the person who sent you or tagged you this video. Alright, I guess that would be all for today. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Sana po may natutunan kayo. And then also I'd like to um, uh, tell you that yung discussion ko today, uh, meron tayong maging available na link to discuss all about synthetic vitamins versus natural vitamin C. So abangan niyo po yan. We will launch it very very soon. So yun, I guess that would be all for tonight. Thank you for watching. Good night. God bless all. God bless you all.